Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of Rabbi Yom enforced in the laws of Kashrus, still speaking about Tevilas Kalim, how to immerse vessels in the mikveh in the proper way. And this is Tevilas Chakli Lachatsoin. What about dipping a large vessel into the mikveh piece by piece? You have to put the vessel into the water in a way that all of the parts of the kli, everything gets into the water all in one shot. Not even one little piece of that kli, of that vessel, can be sticking out of the water. The whole thing has to be immersed in the water at once. So kli gadol, what if you have a very large vessel? It's too big to fit into the mikvah all at one time. You're not allowed to dip this partially. What should you do? So he brings down over here in the notes, Take it to the ocean and dip the whole thing in the ocean. So if you have this very large, sometimes you get these very large industrial size uh, cooking pots. If you own a kitchen, you're a caterer, maybe you, you have large meals in your house and you have to get a huge pot and it's very hard to fit it into the regular size mikvah. The kalim mikvah says, Force, so go to the ocean, go to a natural body of water where it's rain, where it's, where it's rain water that, that is gathered and then you would be able to dip your, your kli there. Specifically, uh, an ocean would be an easy thing to do. You can take a, a drive down to Malibu Beach and toivel your large kli. Tevilas bakbuk, what about a bottle? Bakbuk shepiv tsar, if you have a bottle that has a narrow mouth, tsarich lachnisa lemaim, you have to put the bottle into the water, ulash hoisa sham, and leave it there, until all the, until the water fills up the bottle. All of the areas of this kli, of this vessel. Don't put the bottle face down into the water. Because as you know, if you put the bottle in there face down, the water will not go inside of the kli, inside of the bottle, and then it won't get into all the walls of that bottle and it will not be a good tevila, a good immersion. So to the kli, the vessel has to be opened up in a way that you're going to use it. So that the water can get into every part. So you put the bottle in with the, with the bottom part going down. The piv, the mouth, is open. You get it under the water and you, you hear it like gurgling, so to speak, that the water is filling up. You see the bubbles filling up. And once the bubbles stop, then you know that the entire kli, all the walls of that bottle, have been filled with water, and it's under the water, and therefore that's called a good immersion. L'chein, therefore, sakin amiskapa. Let's say you have like a folded knife. You know, some of these knives, the Swiss army knives, that's like folded in into a compartment. So you want to put the whole thing into the, into the mikvah. Tzarech l'paschai l'vnei tevila, you have to open up the knife before you put it into the mikvah for tevila, for immersion, because if it's closed up or folded over, and therefore that's not the way that you normally use it, it's not considered to be a complete uh, immersion, and it would not be a good tevila. That's the halachas today, and Be'ezus Hashem, we will continue next week. Have a wonderful Shabbos.